Hi, I'm Julian Whitaker, MD, with another Whitaker Wellness Tip on Diabetes Type 2. I urge you to forward this to your friends and loved ones who have Type 2 diabetes, especially those who are using insulin. Approximately 25% of the 28 million Americans with Type 2 diabetes are told to take insulin. If they are obese or overweight, as most are, it's a clear sign that insulin injections are doing more harm than good. Insulin doesn't just escort glucose into the cells. It also signals fat storage and stops fat burning, a recipe for weight gain. Now, excess weight makes blood sugar control more difficult and poor control increases insulin requirements. In other words, the more weight you gain, the more insulin you need, and the more insulin you take, the more weight you gain. It's a vicious cycle. I want to tell you about a patient of mine who had type 2 diabetes for 10 years prior to coming to my clinic. When he was first diagnosed, his physician started him on an oral drug. He worked for a while, but slowly and surely his blood sugar and his weight began to increase. So his doctor increased his medication dose. Again, his levels improved, but over time, both his blood sugar and his waistline inched up. He was eventually no longer able to keep his diabetes under control with oral drugs, so the doctor prescribed insulin, starting at a low dose. Over the next few years, his insulin dose was periodically ratcheted up to keep pace with his rising blood sugar levels. And with every increase, he gained more weight. When I first saw him, he was taking 100 units of insulin a day and had put on 100 pounds of obesity. Folks, that's just bad medicine. This man's diabetes and obesity, which were contributing to a number of health problems, were clearly made worse by his insulin therapy. My treatment plan was simple. I stopped his insulin completely that day and started him on a diet and exercise program and targeted nutritional supplements to control his blood sugar. It took several years, but he lost those hundred extra pounds and his blood sugar normalized without medication. We've done the same thing for hundreds of patients at Whitaker Wellness Institute. The idea of stopping insulin often comes as a shock until patients see for themselves how well this approach works because insulin makes people put on weight and when you stop it, they lose. This is Julian Whitaker, MD, signing off on another Whitaker Wellness Tip. I hope you found this information helpful and that you'll pass it on to others who may use it on their quest for optimal health. Thanks for listening.